out of here. <laughs> this is what happens when you try and put a bow in your daughter's hair. Yeah, so that she looks nice for the video. This is perfectly describing what this video is all about. You just gotta have some margin. <laughs> Hey everyone, <laughs> say hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome. to Anchored Life Anchored. with Kayla. Kayla. Today I'm here with my special guest, two-year-old Sophie, who is currently stamping her Play-Doh. Ah. Today I wanted to have my little buddy here to just talk about the realities of trying to get stuff done with a toddler because it can be challenging to get things done, right, Sophie? <laughs> things just kind of take a little longer. We need time to decide that we're going ahead with the plan or that things are cool. So when you have a toddler and you're trying to get somewhere, trying to do something, just give yourself extra time and then you won't feel so rushed so panicked about it like yesterday i took sophie grocery shopping with me for the first time in a very long time mostly because i work inside the city and then we live about half an hour out of the city on the family farm here so typically i get the groceries after work on my way home from work um, so that i'm not making a special trip into the city but uh, we've been sick around here, so I wasn't able to go to work or get groceries, so decided to go and make a special trip. Yeah, we got groceries. We went to a few different places, did some errands, and errands. Errands. Unfortunately, there is a coffee every word I say. But it actually went really well. I just went into it thinking, okay, we're just gonna, it's gonna take some time. And you know what, Sophie was so good. And I can't- Sophie did! And I really can't take any credit for it. I did bring snacks, so I was prepared. And then we went to Costco, and they give out lots of samples now. That's an ask me. A tiger! Oh wow, a tiger. So she was actually like happy as a plan. Everyone's giving her snacks. But it was important for me just to have this mindset like, okay, we're gonna have to go in and out of the car seat and we are gonna go stand in lines and we need to be prepared just to take some time. <laughs> just play with Play-Doh, I guess. When you have a toddler, you need to expect delays. You need to expect that there is gonna be some either a diaper or potty breaks, there's going to be some snack breaks needed, there is going to be maybe some meltdowns, they're going to need some attention, but don't let that stop you from trying because you need to continue on with your life. You're going to get depressed and not feel like yourself if you stop doing everything just because it requires a little extra planning, a little extra time to be able to get something done. So don't give up, you just need to be prepared. If things are really not working out, you can just stop and try again another time when you guys are all in a better mood for the situation. Are you gonna sit on my lap? Especially around things like exercise or starting different projects around the house. I've heard people say like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it exactly the way I wanna do it because my kid is no. gonna be interrupting or not letting me finish. So why bother even trying? Because it won't be perfect, why bother? And we can go into a whole nother set of. Sophie, don't spray it in your mouth. Say it, don't spray it. I was like, don't put that in your mouth. If you're not gonna do something because you don't think it's gonna end up perfect, well, then we should never do anything ever again and shouldn't try to do anything new, right? So, you know what? Don't worry about it if things are ending up perfect when you have kids distracting you or kind of getting involved and helping you. Um, this is just like, it's better than nothing, right? So say for an example of exercise, you get 10 minutes of exercise done before you're totally interrupted and have to stop for the day. That's 10 minutes more than you had before. And if you have the opportunity for someone to watch your kids for you while you go do an errands, take that opportunity, go do it. 
don't feel guilty. Like you probably will feel guilty because as moms, we're like experts at feeling guilty. So these thoughts will probably come into your head like, oh, I shouldn't leave my kid or I feel bad for leaving my kid with so-and-so because it's going to be terrible for them. Just remind yourself when those thoughts pop up, okay, I'm not going to feel guilty about this. They offered and my kid is safe and I can go get my things done. This is perfect. I had this experience with a friend who I was like, hey, I'll watch your kids for you while you go do what you need to do. And she was like so worried. She's like, oh, my kids are gonna be terrible for you. You're never gonna want a large family. This is just gonna be a really bad experience for you. I don't want to burden you with my kids. It's like, hey, seriously, first of all, I don't really want a large family, so you're not scaring me away from having a large family. And secondly, it'll be fine. I can handle it. And she went away and of course, kids were perfect little angels. I'm sure they were better behaved for me than they were for their mom because that's just how things go. So it was actually a really good experience, I think for both of us, at least I hope it was, because then she realized that she could ask for help, she could get help and things aren't gonna like totally fall apart. I always think this is going to be a great idea to make a video with the toddler. You know what is a great idea? It's just, I'm not, I'm not. The whole point of this video is that it takes more time, which is fine because this is actually perfectly demonstrating what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Making sure that you take that time that you need for yourself too. I know things always, always need to be clean. Things always need to get done, but you need to take care of yourself too. Mommy, the laundry is always going to be there, but like, is your mental health always going to be there? So take care of yourself too. Nap time is great to be able to do the things that the kids won't let you do when they're awake or just spend some time, quality time by yourself, being quiet and doing whatever that refreshes you. And even when your kids aren't napping anymore, you can still establish this Mommy, routine of quiet Daddy. time. Clearly right now it's not quiet time. I have friends that still, even though their kids aren't napping anymore, they still have quiet times in their rooms where they're working on crafts or they're doing whatever it is that um, they wanna do that's a quiet activity that they can do by themselves. And that way my friends still have time to be doing what they need to do and just have a little bit of refreshing time so they can be on their A-game the rest of the day. If you're heading out for the day, make sure that you are super prepared here. We're not potty trained yet. So we've got lots of diapers. I always bring at least four. Yes? Mommy. I'm just showing your diaper bag. And we've got some random little toys and things in there that she doesn't get to see normally. Lots of wipes and diaper cream. We will later. And extra clothes. Always bring extra clothes. Pants, shirt, socks. You never know when you're going to need it because these little people get stuff, all sorts of stuff on them. <laughs> Sometimes you might even need extra clothes for yourself. I'm just saying be prepared. Like when she was a baby, I used to pack like one extra outfit that was not enough <laughs> i remember after we were at my parents house and little baby sophie had made a mess of her second outfit my dad's like what you only bring one extra outfit I'm like oh yeah i guess babies make messes so toddlers too but maybe not quite as aggressive of messes um <laughs> definitely bring like two extra outfits if you have a baby at least one if you have a toddler. Bring those toys, bring those snacks, bring a little coloring pad. All these things are great to have along. <laughs> Toddlers are fun. They've got all this energy and personality and wanna play and get involved. Like, oh, look at that. So cute. Like, so sweet. So just enjoy the toddler stage while it's here because like she just like miraculously became a toddler one day she wasn't a baby anymore and i know the same thing is going to happen when she turns into a little girl and isn't my little baby anymore so i'm just trying to enjoy every moment we have and 
all the cute little snuggles we have and just her sweet little words and her little voice and just the fun we have playing with her toys and when she holds my hand even though she's starting to not want to hold my hand but when she holds my hand I enjoy it because this is like the time that I'm not gonna get back so it's all about finding the things that work for you to be able to enjoy the everyday but also to be able to still continue on with your life I always trying to remind myself that people are more important than doing things so spending time with my daughter is more important than having a clean house even though I do try to have a clean house too um, you just gotta have those priorities straight so keeping that in mind is uh, very important sometimes Sophie wants to know actually a lot of times Sophie wants to know what's going on when mommy's in the kitchen so we just bring this stool here and then you can see what's going on up here right we just don't let her put it right in front of the stove for obvious reasons. <laughs> we would use the toddler carrier sometimes if Hello. she wanted to be extra close. Hello. But this seems to be working pretty this well too. Hello. Doesn't seem to be quite so whiny and needing to be held if she can still be close to you and see what's going on. I know things can be challenging with a toddler or with small kids. And that doesn't mean you should be down on yourself either if things aren't turning out the way you want to because you have a little extra help with you. Just do your best, have fun with it, and try and involve your kids in your routine. This is how they learn, this is how they see how they're going to be adults one day, and they learn to use skills too. So let's just have fun with our kids and also don't feel guilty for the times that you're not having fun because there are those times too. So don't worry about that. Okay, I better just wrap this up here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what your tips are for getting things done with a toddler and how you enjoy having small kids around. Bye-bye. We'll see you guys soon. Make sure to subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.